Welcome everyone to the Learning Tube. This is Ava. And are you all about streaming and looking professional when you're streaming to various platforms? Well, you're in the right place because today in the Learning Tube, we're talking about a platform called StreamYard. Now, let me know how many people have ever heard about StreamYard. Give me a one in the chat. Have you ever heard about StreamYard? Now, StreamYard is a platform that you can use to grow your business. Let people see who's the face behind the business. You can also decide that you want to run somebody's StreamYard, as in offer support for StreamYard as well with someone who wants to do a live stream. So this can be knowledge that you can use anyway. It benefits from you. So I see a few ones, a few no's. You have never heard about StreamYard. Now we're looking on StreamYard Simplified from Setup to show time. Welcome to StreamYard Simplified. In this presentation, we will explore the benefits of using StreamYard. And I'm going to guide you through the process of setting up and hosting a successful live show. So StreamYard allows you to be able to stream your live sessions or recorded into multiple places at the same time. So that's why we love it here. All right, so the next one we're going to look at, the next slide, if it will move on. <laughs> now, why would you want to use StreamYard? Do you want to have professional live streaming? You want to look professional like you have it all together? If you don't, even so, it will make you look like you do. So professional live streaming, it provides powerful features that allows you to create high quality live streams with ease, giving your audience a professional viewing experience. So we're going to show you exactly how it looks and all that so don't worry about that so you ha can have multi-platform broadcasting so as i mentioned before you're able to stream in multiple places so suppose you have a facebook group a facebook page that you want to stream to at the same time you are able to do so depending on the plan that you sign up for other than the free plan you have the option to stream to more places so with StreamYard, you can if effortless Effortless, I can't even say the word. Effortlessly broadcast your live show to multiple platforms simultaneously, reaching a broader audience and increasing your engagement. And you also have the capability to interact with the audiences in the different platforms at the same time. So we love that with StreamYard. So I still see a couple of people saying, no, they have never used StreamYard, but you're gonna love StreamYard when we're done with you in today's session. So some of the features you have easy to use interface. StreamYard is intuitive interface. It makes it simple for beginners and professionals alike to navigate and access its wide range of features. You have custom branding, which we'll soon look at. It says you can elevate your live shows, visual identity by customizing your graphics, logo, overlays to match your personal and brand style. And we all know how we love Canva. And if you're good with Canva design, you can design your own graphics that you may want to use in StreamYard. You can also invite guests to be on your StreamYard session with you. So if you want to do interview style and have multiple persons, depending on the plan you have, you're able to have more persons on the platform with you while you're streaming, you can do so. And I'm gonna show you that as well. You have recording aspects and replays that you have that you can use all right so how does StreamYard sound so far to you sounds like hmm, maybe something i need to check out now i'm going to ask Adrian to drop the link in the chat for how you would sign up for StreamYard. now with StreamYard, let me go over to what it looks like here it is it's the easiest way to live stream and record a professional live streaming and recording studio in your browser. Record your content or stream live to Facebook, YouTube, and other places. So you can also use it to record. Maybe you're doing a, a course and you want to record your training videos. You can use StreamYard like that as well. So it's multi-purpose that you can use. So you can record your training videos. You can record a video that you want to stream as if live wherever you want to and you can also do it for a definitely your own live experience all right so patty you know about Streamyard. love Streamyard backgrounds love the grand piano in the living room all right so definitely Streamyard is one to check out if you haven't 
So Denise, Denise, you're saying you have StreamYard, but was using it on a laptop. And because I have been live from my cell phone, you forget to use it. Yes, StreamYard just makes you overall look professional. So you see, we dropped the link there, alisalitty.com forward slash StreamYard. If you love Alicia, just use that link to sign up. So we're going to see how the different plans work. So where pricing is concerned, they have great pricing when it comes to various packages. You see that for free, zero dollars, you get access to two hours of storage. You get two hours of storage for recordings. You can have six on-screen participants. So if you have, and of course, it's for six includes you as well. So if you have a, a guest or several guests, you're able to do so on the free branding and two seats, meaning that you can have persons join a team, your team, two places for them. But the only thing is that you have to have the StreamYard logo on your live stream. So some people may not want that on their live stream. So that's one thing you need to look at. The basic plan now, and you, this is showing you monthly, but you can, well, this is showing you the yearly. So monthly, this is the monthly plan. So for $25 per month, you can have this 50 hours of storage, unlimited streaming. So you saw you were limited on the free plan. Unlimited local recordings. 10 people can be on the screen at, screen at the same time. Live stream recorded, multi streaming three destinations. So two Facebook groups and a Facebook page or depending on what you want. So, and, and overlays and background and different branding. So you can decide which plan works for you and you see that the professional gives you more for $49 per month if you're doing the monthly plan. All right, so here we have the yearly cost that you can check out as well. So StreamYard is a platform that really is one to explore if you are not looking on it right now. All right, so definitely check out StreamYard. So I'm gonna go into StreamYard itself to see what it looks like. So here I am in the back end of StreamYard. So after you've signed up, and everything and logged on, it usually wants to send you a code to the email that you signed up with. So that's just one thing that you have to do every time you sign in. It's gonna send you a code and log in. Sometimes it keeps you signed in. It's not gonna ask you for the code all the time, but it may ask you that from time to time once you have signed in with the email address that you signed up with. So this is your dashboard for StreamYard. So here you see you have home, library, destination, members. Now the home section is where you, the magic is. You can see previous setups that you had, upcoming sessions, and you can see past sessions that you had streamed. And also this is where you would create your stream, whether it be doing your recording, your, your stream as if live, and your actual live stream. But before you even want to do any of that, you want to tell StreamYard, hey, these are the places I want to stream to. So you have to jump to the destination section and tell StreamYard, hey, I want to stream here. This is where I want to stream to. So the add a destination section is where you tell StreamYard you want to stream to. Now, depending on where you want to stream, it will have different setup options. But here it says, connect an account to StreamYard. Once connected, you can stream to it as often as you like. Not sure where you want to start? And there's a quick start guide that you can check out. So you have here Facebook page, Facebook group, Facebook profile, LinkedIn page, LinkedIn profile, YouTube, and Twitter. So you are able to stream to all these places at the same time, depending on the plan that you have. So if you want to start off, as I said, for free, test it out and see, you can do the $0 plan. And if you love it, you can upgrade accordingly. So let's say we want to add a Facebook group. So you would come here, click on it, and it says you need to Facebook permissions, all of that, and then you connect the group. So it's going to look for, based on the groups that you have access to, it's going to show you what you have access to that you can add StreamYard to. So I'm gonna use this test group that we have here, AI Summit. I think I'm still having access to that group. So you click on the group and here it says, open the group settings because 
Facebook, in order for you to stream StreamYard in there, you have to, Facebook has to have permission. You're giving the Facebook group permission to do that. So when you open the group settings, you have to add the StreamYard app into your group. All right. You could have done this stage before you even went into StreamYard, but you can do it through StreamYard. So for those who didn't know, there are apps that you need to add to your group before you can use that particular third party, they call it, that third party platform in your group. So another popular third pl party platform that a lot of people add to their group is what? Who knows? What else can people use to stream to a, a Facebook group? Do you know? What else do people stream to a program of people use to stream to a Facebook group? Zoom is another pop popular third party app, all right, that you can use to stream to your group. Uh, Paddy says YouTube. I haven't used YouTube to stream to Facebook, but uh, I can check that out and see. So here I can search for StreamYard and it will pop it up. So StreamYard. So we're doing the setup. We have to do this before we can even start to stream. And I'm telling Facebook, hey, add StreamYard to this group so that I'll be able to stream to it. All right. So it's added it. So this group is ready and rearing for me to be able to stream StreamYard to it. All right. So we have that there set up. So let's head on back over to StreamYard. So we have that oh, one of our destinations. So remember, you can add other places, but that just, that's just an example of how you add that destination. So you have to add your destination where you want to stream before you can stream to it. Can you record your video in StreamYard without adding a destination? Sure, you're adding the destination. Why? If you want to stream live to that destination or you want to stream a recorded video live to that particular destination. If you only want to use StreamYard to just do your video recordings, that's fine as well. So you don't plan to stream anywhere, do anything. You can just use it as a recording platform. That's okay as well. So let's jump back to the home area. How do we create what we call a broadcast so that we can do our streaming and all those things, whether we're streaming live, as if live, or we're just doing a recorded video? So you would go to create. That's how you do that. Go to create. So in the create area, you have so many different options. I've never actually tried out the on-air webinar. This is actually one of the new features of StreamYard, but you can test that out. But we're only looking on the live stream and recording aspect. So where live stream is concerned, as I said, you can be streaming live, as in you're actually live, like I'm here right now, live talking to people, or you can record a video and then upload it to StreamYard and stream in these platforms as if live. So suppose you're not available to do a in quotation live session, but you've told everybody, hey, I'm going to be live at 10 p.m. You can set that up in StreamYard, tell it to stream whenever, and StreamYard will do the stream. You're even able to set it up where an image will be triggered wherever you were planning to go live so people can know pre, pre before that you're going to stream live there. So let's look and see. So we have live stream. So those, these are some of the destinations that we have in this particular account that we are able to stream to. So here, if you leave it on studio, it means that you are going to be streaming live to this particular area that you're setting up. So let me use the, let me just check something first before I set that up. So let me head on over that area just to see what's going on in there. The test group that I'm using, I just want to see how many people are over there to see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, the, the plan over there. Okay, so let me head on back to where we were. So if I wanted to do a live stream right now, I can set up something in a particular group. So this was the group that you saw me add. So I'm going to click. Now, if I wanted to add these other places, depending on the plan I have, I'm able to add them too. But I'm just going to use one for this demonstration. So this is a setup if I was doing it live, 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 live. So you can put the title of your stream. So I'm just going to show and say this is StreamYard tutorial, just for our purposes, test, set up. You know you'd put your live topic there. You can put a description. 
if you check this, you're basically, when it when the trigger happens, if you want to have a trigger, meaning have an image come up and let persons know, hey, I'm going to go live at X, Y, Z, you can have that post letting persons know that they can sign up through StreamYard because StreamYard allows you to be able to show comments that persons are making. But if the person hasn't signed up through StreamYard when the live is occurring, it won't show their name when a comment is made. All right, then we're going to do a little test for those who are able to, to help me out in this presentation. So I have an error here where it says schedule later. So what schedule later does is allow me to be able to, if I want to have a live, let's say it's 2.20 now Eastern time and I want to have a live at 4 p.m. and I want persons to know beforehand that I'm going to have the live, I'm able to do so and schedule it later. I don't have to, but I have that option. So let's look at it before, without the schedule later and see what it does. So create live stream. So here it's going to, you're going to see your camera pop on automatically or you have to set up your camera. Hi, you should be seeing me here. So if your camera doesn't automatically pick up, you're going to go to settings and you are going to go to the camera area and click this drop down arrow and choose your camera. It may be an internal camera or it may be a, uh, an external camera. So you would choose the camera. Depending on the plan you have, you can have your stream being a certain resolution. These options here, you can touch up your appearance. So let me see how I can look touched up. Wow, oh my gosh. I didn't have any touch up on before, but I think I'm gonna leave that touch up on. <laughs> so you can make it touch. I mean, right now I look like a cartoon character, right? Like, oh my gosh, look how I'm smooth. So you can have your touch up if you're not all that ready and you can have it a little bit, you know, <laughs> less. Or you can not have any at all by taking it off. Like, you know, how do I look? How do I look? All right, so did you see the difference? So when I had touch up on, see me here with touch up on the semi and this is me without touch up. So it's not too bad, right? <laughs> Let me know in the, in the chat area. And you can select your audio. So if you see the mic here moving, you're assuming that your mic is registering. And you can also adjust to choose the mic that you want. Echo cancellation, you're going to want to do that because you don't want to have anything. And you can check reduce background noise so that your my dog, you heard bark in the background. Maybe you won't hear him <laughs> once I have that checked. And automatically adjust your mic volume so that you know, you're not like in a note high and low and such. Patty was talking about some of the backgrounds that they have available so you can blur your background. There's a brick one. I don't know if I have the, I don't have a piano one in this one, but there's a, like an office setup. So you can decide the kind of background that you want to have for your streaming. What do you think so far? Let me check the comments area to see what I'm missing. How does it seem so far? Does it seem easy to you so far? What, does, what do you think about StreamYard so far? I think it's quite user-friendly if you want to start out, all right? So Tammy, you say you like it so far. Linda says it's wonderful. Cindy says it's easy. Francisco says looks great, all right? Cindy says great as well. Very user-friendly, Deborah. yes. All right, so you're gonna, that was a setup for my mic and my camera and all those things, all right? Then you're gonna put your display name. Mine is automatically in because I'm an admin of this account, but suppose I didn't want to say Avalala, I could have a different name. And here, there's a headline option. We don't really focus on that, but we're just gonna jump into the studio. So here we are in the studio, all right? Now you see me down here? This is my icon that you will see. No, I'm not in the stream meaning people can't see me i'm backstage now as an admin you will see other persons backstage with you so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna show you that you can invite people to be on the stream with you and i'm gonna show you how you can invite persons so let me jump out of the studio just to show you that there are two ways to invite persons i'm back here in my dashboard so i after i created the stream i could have come out and say, all right, I want to invite people. So I can come here and say, invite guests. And there's a link here that I can copy and send to my people. This account, you can invite, you can have nine more people excluding me. 
all right? Or I can enter the studio. So I'm gonna go back to where I was. You're gonna see me where I was previously with my camera on and everything. I can set it up again. I'm gonna go back into the studio and I'm here backstage. So I'm gonna drop the link in the chat. And if anybody wants to join me here so we can do a little testy testy, <laughs> I'm gonna include that here. If you want to join me here, and of course you'd have to be on camera. So this is my invite link to this particular session. If it, if it reaches maximum, then it's not gonna allow me to have more. Remember, you can only have 10 people max, and I'm one of them. So in the meantime, if anybody wants to join, that's what you would do. And you go, would go through the setup. If you're having difficulties, then obviously you won't be able to join, but you saw what I walked you through. And StreamYard works best with Google Chrome browser. Now, I'm here in the backstage, and in the backstage, you notice that here, it's black. So unless I have added myself to the stream, no one will see me. So here where it says add to stage, or maybe it may say add to stream, if I am not added, nobody can see or hear me. By the way, nobody can see or hear me, even if I'm added, because the stream is not live. You notice right here it says go live, so the stream is not live. So I'm gonna add myself right here. Yay. So people who are in my backstage now, you can hear me in StreamYard, maybe in case there's not a go to webinar clash, but you'll be able to hear me. And you notice here I have three guests that have joined me here. So if I'm having this presentation and I want to have Tonya, Deborah, and Crystal on, James has come too, I can add them all. I'm gonna add you now, so people are gonna see you, all right? So I'm gonna add Tonya. I'm gonna, or I hope I'm not mispronouncing Tanya. Yes, okay, Tanya. All right, I'm gonna add Deborah. I'm gonna add Crystal. I'm gonna add James, Claudia. But I'm gonna mute you all because there may be a clash because I'm in GoToWebinar at the same time. Now notice I have control to mute my participants in my session. Now when I say participants, these are the people who are streaming live to you know. They're part of a session that I wanted to have, and I have invited them as my special guest. We haven't streamed live as yet. So let's say Tonya is going to talk about something about her business, and Deborah and Crystal and James and Claudia, you're going to talk about something about your business. I'm having a summit, and I've invited these guests to talk, and I'm going to have an introductory process and talk about them, and then I would remove them from the area and then bring them up one by one. There, I have that option in StreamYard. So I can remove Tanya if I want to. I can remove them all. And let's say I only want to leave Claudia. I'm having a session where Claudia and I are talking about something. I'm able to do that. Right here, I can choose different layouts of how I want Claudia and I to be shown on the screen. We can be up real close. <laughs> but we don't really like this one. But yeah, we can be up real close. We can be further away. We have where I'm bigger and Claudia is smaller, or there's an option here where I can show my screen and have my camera as well. We can have both of us on a screen, or we can, these are just options with, with, with showing screen alone. So that's why it's not showing anything. What do you think so far about StreamYard? And I'm, I'm, I'm right here, I'm the behind the scenes person because they don't have these controls. You know. I've just invited them to the session and they're just seeing what, comes up on the screen. They're not seeing each other. Like how oh, you see everybody here in GoToWebinar, they're not seeing this. I see this because I'm the admin of this account. So I'm running this whole backstage area. Like I am in control. So Michelle, you say like StreamYard way better than Zoom. This is truly amazing. Bianca, Cindy is saying, wow, quick and easy. Yeah, I just invited them and they're all here. All right, so let me show you now. So I can show my screen. So right here, I can control my mic, I can control my camera, just like what I did when I just came in, and I can present. So when I present, I can show my screen. So I have Claudia and, and myself on the screen, and I can decide if I want to show a tab alone, or I want to show a window, or I want to show my entire screen. So you can decide what you want to show when you're doing StreamYard. So I have a, ta uh, a window open here with a program called Wondershare. So let's say I'm doing a tutorial about Wondershare. I can choose to show this by itself, click share, and what will happen is gonna be showing Claudia and myself, and it's showing the Wondershare 
area right there, all right? Now notice down here, it has stop sharing. I like to leave it on in case I can't find back where to stop the sharing, so I leave it on. You can hide it, but I like to leave it on. So I can click back stop share, all right? I can share my entire screen. So I'm gonna go back to present, share screen, go to entire screen, share my audio as well, because I want people to hear the sound from my PC. And I am gonna share the design and masterclass area. All right, so you're gonna see Claudia, myself, and the design masterclass website that I talked to you about. For those who came on late, we're gonna have a design and AI summit. I keep on saying design masterclass, but it really kind of is. We're going to have a design and AI summit again. The link was dropped in the chat. Drop it again for me, Adrian. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. Come check it out. Canva and AI, amazing things, all right? So I stopped my share, and I'm going to go back to StreamYard. Now, if I wanted to add back Tanya and everyone else, let's say I just want the three, the four of us, we can do that. All right, and let's see, Claudia or Tanya, do, or let me do Tanya. I'm gonna unmute you and see, are you able to speak? Unmute. Hi, everybody. All right, so, <laughs> perfect. Now, the reason I'm gonna mute you again, you may be hearing feedback, that's because I'm in GoToWebinar, so there's kind of a clash, That's but I just wanted to see that she's able to speak and such. You may not have heard her because GoToWebinar has this thing now where it's not really playing your sound, but it's, it, she was, we were hearing her. All right, so we're on in the stream together. We haven't streamed yet, guys, we're in the backstage. So if I even wanted to use StreamYard to have a meeting, with 10 other people or nine other people. We could just meet right here and just chit chat. We could meet right here, chit chat and record it. We could meet right here and stream and do our presentation. There's so many things that we're able to do. So I'm gonna drop in Crystal and James on the screen. All right, so you saw me, that's how we present. We have the settings which we looked at. It, it looks the same like before we joined, when you just went entered the studio. Remember as an admin, that's how it will look to you. You can leave the studio so I can jump out of here and leave them by themselves and come back on. I have that option. Now with the present, I can also load a video file. So suppose I want to play a video while I'm presenting to people. I can load a video file. I don't have to upload it you know, to StreamYard. I can actually play a video file that's stored on my computer. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna be opening a video file. Let me see if I can find a random file. Let me go into my folder right here and just upload a, or this is one of our training sessions that we're doing for last week. Laura was telling me that we are doing a, a big project in Jamaica for, for helping underemployed and unemployed persons learn how to earn online. So if I wanted to play that, for persons, that's me. Hi, everyone. <laughs> All right. Let me know that you are hearing me clearly and that you are seeing my. All right. So that video was an actual video that it's here now with me backstage. So I could add, I could preset it up. I could add the video, know that I'm going to play it in my stream. And then when I say, oh, hey, guys, I'm going to play a video about XYZ. No, I can actually come here. Notice that it's on nine seconds. I can move it back so that when I add it to the video, the, the, the stage, it will start from the beginning. It will just automatically play. So I can just play, have my videos loaded and play them. I'm not sure if StreamYard is gonna count the video as one of the participants, but just know that that option is there. Now let's take this out. Let me take out the video. So remove from the studio. All right. So how do you think, how do you think so far? Let me see what some persons are saying. All right, so looks great, wonderful, easy, very easy. And remember, I haven't started to stream live as yet. So I could have been having a meeting with these people right here, showing my video. So it's all about how you decide to use StreamYard. All right, so we could be here talking, chit chatting, I'm playing a video, all these things, and they're hearing everything that I'm doing. All right, so let's, let's explore this option here now. So remember, we talked about branding. So there's a branding area here. So here with comments, if we're streaming live, we'll see everybody's comments popping up here. And this is what it looks like. So I can show somebody's comments. So 
if I had somebody on, no, I have, I'm not streaming. That's why. But if I had it on, the different comments that come up, I can put them on the screen and people will see what I want them to see that people are saying and I can hide it to pop it back off. Where banners are concerned, I can have different banners that are shown on the screen during the presentation. So let me see, these are some preset ones. So I can have a folder that I create. I can, let's say I call this a uh, tester. I create a folder and then in, oh, I've reached my max, so I can't create anymore, but I can, let me jump in and see if there's a folder that I can utilize right now. All right, so we have a program called Freelance Ingenious and we wanted to say certain things. I was doing a presentation and I want to have certain things on the banner. So here I have a pre-done banner. Here I can create a banner. So I can create a banner that says StreamYard Tutorial, all right? And here where it says scroll, at the bottom I can set it up as a ticker. So if I click this and add it, you're gonna see it scroll across the screen. So I can have this scrolling across the screen while I'm doing the presentation. Or if I want it to be a banner that is not moving, I can take this off and save it. And I have my banner that just says StreamYard Tutorial. So whatever I want to be shown on the screen for persons to see, I can change and go through different ones. So I can preset my different banners and then show the one I want to show at the appropriate time. So you can pre-prepare your stream information and do as such. Now here, I'm not sure what people are typing in here, but this is a private chat area that we ourselves on the stream can talk to each other in. So let me see what people have been typing in there. So, oh, so Tonya, okay, Tonya. All right, says hell, um, her pronunciation. James is saying hello, Deborah is saying neat. So this is just for us backstage. People who are watching the stream won't be able to see that. Remember that I haven't even streamed yet. I'm just showing you how the backstage looks and what we can do in here. So there's a brand part now where you want certain branding. So notice that I have, let's use this as the example. So I can have my brand color. So I can click this and change the different colors. So let's say my color is gold or my color, or you know your code. You can change the branding. So anything you put up will have your brand colors. You can decide if you want the theme is classic. Look at what's happening to the StreamYard tutorial. Or you want a bubble. Or you want minimal. Notice the change. Or you want it to be blocked. So you can decide how you want this to be displayed. And as, of course, the color you want it to be. You can decide if you want to show the display names or show headlines. We saw headlines when we were starting up. Now, I love this part because guess what? You can have, let's say, depending on the plan that you have, you can have preset branding. So suppose you're using this for your, your make money brand and then you have a, a masterclass brand or you have different brands you, having different colors. You can preset the different brand things here. So here you go to create a new brand. You can type in the brand. Let's put in test. And in the test brand, you can change your color. So suppose in the test brand, I wanted to, my favorite color is purple. So I'm going to choose purple. So let's say I want purple in my test brand. Notice it changes. All right. So I'm going to mute Deborah because remember, there's going to be some feedback. So see, I can control my participant. She was unmuted and I just muted her. All right. So you can change your branding. What else can you do in branding? You can add your logo. Remember, if it's a free plan, you have to use StreamYard's logo. And you have something called overlay. Now, what overlays are, you can have something on the screen over your main video. So I'm going to go into another brand that we have set up. Uh, let's go in here, and I'm going to show you an example of an overlay with my name on it. Let me see. That's me. So let me take off the banner. All right, so let me let me put my, I can spotlight my, who's muted? All right, but Deborah keeps on unmuted, not sure what's happening, Deborah. All right, so I'm gonna spotlight myself. So I can spotlight back myself by clicking on this and we call it a solar layout. So their camera can still be on and it shows me alone. All right, so all of their cameras are on and it shows me alone. Now Deborah, I'm not sure what's going on with your mic so i'm gonna actually remove you because i may not remember to unmute you and it's giving feedback all right so thank you for participating in the session okay all right so 
we have this going. So I have a banner here. All right. So it's like my name, pretty, pretty, all this around me. That's my banner. Okay. And I, not my banner, my overlay. So I can take that off as well. All right. So let me just take that off. So that's in the branding. So I can remove the overlay, add a different overlay. I can upload other overlays to have. And overlays, you can have somebody create this for you in Canva if you're not sure how to do it because the middle part of the overlay needs to be transparent so that people can see you in the middle. All right, so let me just check and see what persons are saying. All right, so I use it now, but how do you see the comments? The comments right here where it says comments, when people are commenting, you will see them come up right here. You're not seeing anything now because I don't, I'm not streaming anywhere, but if I'm streaming somewhere and people are commenting, you'll see it here. All right, so let me see. Okay, let's go back to brand. So we can upload a video clip, but there's a, a minimum a requirement for the size of the video clip. StreamYard comes with a default countdown clock. So let me show it and I'm gonna play. All right, so what happens with that is that it's counting down. We are here on the stage where people can't see or hear us. So we'll just see the countdown video. You can play any video you want. So if you have that like national anthem, we have a video here. All right, just representing Jamaica right there. So I could have that playing and any video that you want to upload, but it has to be a certain size limit that you play. So you can upload actual videos to StreamYard. And you can upload backgrounds as well. All right, link to sign up for the summit tomorrow. Deidre, can you drop that for me again, please? All right, so JDR, drop the link to sign up for StreamYard in case some of you missed what was going on before or you're loving it so much you say, hey, I need to sign up now for a free account and test everything out, okay? So drop the design summit. Thank you, Deidre. All right, so that is the branding area. There's background music that you can add or use within the area too. Remember, I haven't even streamed live yet. So I'm gonna take myself off of solo so we can see everyone else. So I'm removing, exiting solo, and we're all here again. Okay, for the moment we've been waiting for. So the, the areas that you say you're going to stream to, they will be displayed here on the top right. So if you're ready to go live now, or you want to do a live session wherever, you click the go live and it will go live wherever you told it. So I'm gonna click that and go live. Here you're gonna see a live icon appear, red. Let's see, it's taking its own sweet time. Hey, we're live. By the way, not, nobody's in this group but Alicia, myself and Lorette. So we're actually live in the group. It's gonna count down what's going on here. It's gonna show you how many people are watching the live. And if anybody has, reacted to the live, you'll see the emo emojis right here. So I'm gonna go over into that group to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna go here so you can see. So in the group now, this is what we're looking like live. So it will say Abalala is live because it's my, I'm in the admin and I'm the one who is it's streaming live to through my Facebook account. We see that someone, oh, we have a couple other people in this group, it seems. Well, not many people, but if you're in the group, we're doing a test, a test, test, test of a session that we have on the Learning Tube. If you want to join the Learning Tube, come on thelearningtube.com and sign up to get reminders. All right. So we're just doing a, a live session here on the Learning Tube, testing out how to use StreamYard. Now, guys, the video isn't playing now, but if I click it to play, let me show you. The live. Here we are. Oh, guys, the video is just playing now. But if I... All right, so here we are playing. It's going to have a little delay, but this is what people are seeing. And you saw that somebody's in the group liked what we're doing. Like, hey, they liked it. Now, let's say someone comments on it right here. We will see it in StreamYard itself. Okay. We'll see their comment right here. But nobody knew I was going to do this live. I'll just use that group randomly. Now, see that you see the person here? They liked it. So you will see the comment, the, the emoji of the per of the not of the person. All emojis, you will see them right here, and you'll see the number on that are watching. Now, when you're done with your live stream, you say, hey guys, all right, thank you for joining the session. Bye. You're gonna click here where it says end stream, end stream again, 
And when you see it say ended, now you can say, Whoo! Oh, finish the live session. Don't do that before. Don't do that before. Wait till you see it say end stream and this no longer says live. All right. So that was an example of how we just stream live into a particular Facebook group. Nice and easy. What do you think about that? Let me know in the chat. What did you think about that? <laughs> All right. Was that easy? Was that easy to do? Let me see some of the comments. Okay. Now, if you want to leave the stream, as I was saying before, like we're all done, everything is over, you would click leave studio, leave studio, and you would come out of the stream itself. So I'm going to click, I'm going to actually close the area, guys. So it's going to kick you out. But thank you for participating in this particular section so we can show what it looks like. Thanks, guys. All right, I'm going to close it. And I'm going to reopen StreamYard. All right, reopening StreamYard. So we can see. So here I am. And it's going to show that this is my past session that I just had. See, it says StreamYard tutorial test setup, and it lasted two minutes to stream itself. And if you go to library, it actually recorded the session automatically so if you want to have a recording of whatever session you did it's right here click this arrow here the three dots and you can download it you can share it you can edit in Streamyard, edit the title and also edit the video Streamyard does have a video editing capabilities not sure how advanced it is but it's an option that you can use as well to just take out some simple things that you need to remove now if we go back to home and we go to create again, live stream. I can do a pre-recorded video where I can upload a video, look for the video to upload, and then use it as if live. So I don't have to have an actual live stream. I can go to pre-recorded video, select a video, choose where I want it to stream, and I can schedule it that way. Guys, did the light, go? I think the light went, oh my gosh. <laughs> The light went. I don't know if you guys are still hearing me. I doubt it very much. Let me know in the chat, are you still hearing me? No, I had a power cut. I don't think you guys are hearing me. Yo, you're hearing me. All right. Okay, okay. There was a power cut, but apparently I'm still here. <laughs> okay. Apparently I'm still here. All right. So I was saying that you can actually... Go to create, live stream, and go to pre-recorded, and you will upload a video that you want to stream as if live, and then you will set up the video. So let me see if I can find a real small video. So I'm going to go to add a file. Let me see if I can find a very small video to just do as a little test. All right, let's use this. It's going to show the percentage upload. We just chose, chose a small video that it will take more time to upload if you're doing anything larger. And then now you can choose where you want to stream. So I want to stream here, my test group. And here now, the difference with this is that you would put the start time that you want the stream to be at. So let's say I wanted to stream at this time. You can put in a title, a description, and then I can create stream. And it will play automatically as if live at that particular time. But then you can also schedule it to announce to people that, hey, I'm going to go live at XYZ. And it will do a, a trigger in the area where you want to stream live. So if I click announce, it will allow me to upload an image. Let me just use any random image that I have here. Let me just check. Let me make sure people are still hearing and seeing me, okay? Let me just check for a random image. And if I'm going a bit too fast, guys, you can watch the replay and see what's up. So let's say I'm going to add an image for one of the sessions that we're having. So let's say I add this image here, click apply. And what will happen now, notice that it says announcement, announcement. 
So here, this is when you want it to play. And down here is when you want people to know that you're going to have this session. So if I know I want to have a live session at 7 p.m., I want to announce at, it has to be, of course, after the time that your system is recognizing. So let's say on my system, 3 p.m., they will get a trigger in that area at 3 p.m. that, hey, Abba is going to have whatever this, the picture is saying at 7 p.m. All right, so let me just do that and show you what it, oh, I need a title. So test, testing, you know you'd put the particular title. And I'm going to show you what it looks like in the group. All right, so let's go back here to the group and I'm going to go here so you can see what it looks like. So let's do a reload. Oh, you're not going to see it yet because I forgot that I told it so late. I told it, what time did I say? Three. So that's really late. So let me come back here and see if it allows me to edit it. Yes, it does. So let's see if I can edit the announcement time. Is it allowing me to do that? No. -uh. So we aren't able to edit that aspect. But what will happen is that in the group itself, so I'm just going to take it out and add it again. So 7 p.m. testing, I'm adding. Is it gonna allow me to add anything else there? Okay, it's not allowing me to change certain things. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete it completely and do it again closer to a time where we can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna create live stream, but it's a recorded video, select a real small video. I'm doing what I did before, so that's why I'm moving through quickly there. So I was going to add a real small video. And then we are going to say we want to stream here. I want to do the live stream at, let's say, 7. Put in my title. Testing. And by the way, what I'm doing here, I could also do that with the live stream as well, as in I'm actually going live. But I wouldn't get the option to tell it when I want them to see that I'm going to go live. It will just automatically trigger once you click save so if i say schedule announcement i'm gonna and by the way this thumbnail size is 1280 by 720 that's the image dimensions if you want to have an image that will trigger all right apply and today uh -huh, uh -huh. all right and i wanted to do at let's say my time is now for me i have to put my time and let's do that let's do okay this is the this is the latest it allows us to do it that's my time in case you're wondering if i'm going back in time <laughs> that's the time i have on mine now so it will come up in about two minutes time so let me just look and see what persons are saying in the meantime what do you think about Streamyard? oh my gosh so many things that you can do in this platform and as i say it can allow you to look professional with your stream you're able to have a meeting in there if you want you can stream live or you can stream a video as if live because you're not available all the time so this is a way that you're able to have content being put out there without you having to invest the time to to be out there drop that link again for me jadrian alicelity.com forward slash stream yard is how you can sign up for an account there all right, Tammy says she's loving it. You're interested in the repurpose tab. The repurpose area that you saw, it just allows you to be able to edit a video that you did on StreamYard that was recorded and repurpose that content, as in just use it for different things. So you're able to cut out a certain part that you want, cut the clips in a certain way. Nicolette said it's great so far. I'm on central time right now, so that's why the time, it looked, <laughs> it looked like I was setting the time in the future. Uh, so much you can do with this tool. Yes, definitely. This, the thumbnail size is 1280 by 720. 1280 by 720. All right. Okay. So just doing a reload in the page to see if the stream, if it triggered as yet. No, I have one more minute to wait. So I'm going to delete this in the meantime. You can delete the stream that's there. So I'm just going to delete the post of our test. And thank you those who tested with me. 
and we're going to see it shows that I added this tool. So we don't want people to see that you added the third party tool. You can just delete that post too, or I think it allows you to hide or delete the post. So I like to remove it because people tend to comment on it and no need to. So I like to do that as well. All right, so let's see if it triggered a uh, live. All right, not yet, not yet. Okay, not yet. Do, 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 do. Let me do a, a new post. So here, see it says, have a Lola because it's my, my Facebook is going through, plans to go live. And it shows the image I added and it shows the name of the session and when the session will be. So what you could even do in your Facebook group if that's where you plan to go live, and of course, tell your members this, is that you can pin it. You can pin it to the featured section. And what happens, it comes up here at the top. And when you go live, or let's say you're gonna go live at seven, the members of your group can simply just click this icon at seven, and then click this and they will see the live video they're playing. They can find it there quite easily. And when the stream has finished going live, they can still click on that and click and see the video there live too. Not live, it won't be live then, but they can still access the video through that particular area. What do you think? So people in this group, they know I'm gonna go live. I told them. So they can know together at the group when? 7 p.m. because I'm gonna go live. And I was able to do that through StreamYard. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna go back in StreamYard and delete it. So what will happen? That was if I wanted to stream as if I was live. That's what I did right there. Set it up to stream as if I was live. So I'm gonna delete this. But if I wanted to do a, 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 an actual live session, as in tell people that, hey, I'm gonna go live, like we did with the people who were on to test with me, Leave it on studio, choose the Facebook group or wherever, test again, and I'm gonna show you the difference now. Schedule later, notice that there's no, when you want them to know, when are you gonna announce that you're going live? I would just tell them, hey, 7 p.m. This is if I'm gonna go live now, as in I am gonna go live, actual live. Put in my thumbnail, and then up right after I click, Create the stream. Once I do this, it's gonna ask me, do you want to customize anything or it may not ask me that. It's just gonna just throw it in the group that I'm gonna go live at 7 p.m. or whatever, whatever time you set. So it's doing its creating thing. So if I go back to that same group and do a reload of the page, here it's telling them, hey, we're going live at 7 p.m. So notice that with the pre-recorded, like I'm, I'm have a recorded video that I want to stream as if live, I get the chance to schedule the time that they see that I'm gonna go live, as well as tell them the actual live time. But when I'm on studio, which means I'm gonna go actually live, I'm gonna go live, I just get the option to just tell them when I'm gonna be live, and then once I save, it automatically triggers in the group. So it's a nice way to let people know that you will be live so that they can say going, I'm going, or interact with it. They can even, what Facebook does, it actually creates an event automatically and people can interact with that event and you can put posts in the event and all kind of different stuff depending on what you want to do. Here I'm actually deleting it, so I have to tell it delete it on Facebook because obviously I'm not going to be going live. All right, so it says, all these different things, but I'll fix that after. So that was just a quick demonstration of how you go about using StreamYard. So I'm gonna do, I asked in the beginning about, you know, using StreamYard, what you think about it and so on. Know that you see it. For those who used to use it or have used it before, or those who have never used it, do you think this is something that you will explore using? Yes? Give me a one. Do you think that StreamYard is something that it will make you look professional? You can manage someone's StreamYard. You can be more visible to your community using this particular platform. Sapati so says, thanks, love it already, use it. Sapati, so I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. 
James has like 21 <laughs> put down there. Carol says yes. Crystal, Nicolette, Linda, Tammy as well say yes. Definitely a platform that a lot of people may know of, but they weren't necessarily using it. So yes, you can use it for teaching and team meetings. Because as you saw before, I was there having a talk with the persons who participated in the test and we were just chit chatting. But remember, depending on your plan, that alone only allows you a certain number of people in that little meeting behind the scenes. But you can stream to multiple people in different backgrounds. We saw that the free plan allowed you to have six persons in the stream. Of course, that includes you as well. So you and five other people. All right. So can this be used for affiliate marketing? You, I think StreamYard, what do you mean to grow your audience? As in you are showing persons on StreamYard who you are and building your audience that way. Yes. Or if you want to sign up for StreamYard as an affiliate, you can search on Google StreamYard affiliate and you can create an account and get an affiliate link for yourself where you can teach people about StreamYard and when they sign up, for a particular plan, you get a commission. So there are more than one ways that you can use StreamYard like that. All right, so guys, remember this session is recorded and it will post it in the Facebook group as well as sent via email. I hope you enjoyed this presentation about StreamYard. If you are on the fence about it, hopefully this lets you decide, hey, I'm gonna sign up for StreamYard. And JJ, and drop that link one more time for me. If you love Alicia, you can sign up with her, alisalitter.com forward slash StreamYard and test it out. And if you decide that you want to upgrade to one of the plans, you can upgrade according to what suits you best. It's always good to have different platforms that do different things or similar things so that you have a backup. So if you have a platform that you're already using, if you're streaming live through Facebook itself, this gives you a more professional look and be able to stream to multiple places at the same time instead of just one place. So always explore different tool options. And for free, it gives you quite a lot. Even if it's, if it's using StreamYard's branding, at least you still are able to use your brand colors, even though it's using StreamYard's logo as well. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me live. And I will see you in the other learning tube session. Bye guys. Have a great rest of the day. Bye guys.